Hello, this is simple math for you. Our lesson today is transformation of linear functions, part one. أهلا بكم في simple math for you. درسنا اليوم هو التغيرات التي تطرأ على الدوائر الخطية الجزء الأول. The transformations of linear functions can be translation, الإزاحة, dilation, هي التكبير أو التصغير. Reflection, وهو الانعكاس. The family of graphs includes graphs and equations of graphs that have at least one characteristic in common. Each graphs, each family of graphs has one characteristic in common. We have, for example, family of linear functions. And this family has a parent, which is this one, the linear function. It's called parent function. And for linear functions, it is called identity. The identity is the, the parent function, we have many other families. We have, for example, quadratic functions. This is the parent function of quadratic function, and it will look like parabola. We have absolute value functions, and it will look like V-shape. All other functions are like parts of these functions. They have something in common. الدوال الأخرى تشترك مع الأب الفunction parent function بشغلة أو بأخرى. مثل مثلا we have this is x plus one. It is also line, but it is little bit moving. Have been moved one unit up. It can move uh, right, left. It can be thinner or wider. It can be reflected, but it will keep the same shape. نفس الشكل راح يكون إلها V shape أو تاني حيكون U shape أو parabolic shape إلى آخره. So our lesson today will be only the transformation for linear function. We will focus راح نركز على linear function دوال الخطية. And we will start by translation. ليه الإزاحة. Translation. Describe the translation in each function as it relates to the graph of parent function. Now, if you look here, you will find that the x sometimes is added to 10, and this number is not in the group, or subtracted by 6, and not the 6 is not with it in the group, which we group واحد مع x, and sometimes واحيان أخرى معاها في group واحد, like this, x plus 7, like x minus 9, in the same group. Is there a difference? Though in the linear function, it's not a big difference. في الجواد دوال خطية مش هالفرق بس رح نعمم القاعدة حتى تصلح لكل أنواع الفنكشن We will generalize the rule so that it is effective for all other functions So the first thing you should differentiate between grouped and non-grouped Now here we have non-grouped X and 10 non-grouped and x is added to 10. So first of all, we will emphasize that the variable is added or subtracted by a number. And it can be grouped or non-grouped. In our case, it is non-grouped. If it is non-grouped, then the parent function, which is in our case x, will move either up or down. لما يكون مش في الجروب حيتحرك يا فوق يا تحت حصريا فقط. So here we will say that the parent function will move vertically 10 units up. Vertical translation. حركة رأسية 10 وحدات إلى الأعلى. Here it is also non-grouped but it is subtracted by 6. So the function will move 6 units down so for non-grouped plus or minus plus will move up minus will move down okay case two when it is grouped if it is grouped then it will move either left or right right or left now x plus seven 
know, if you think about it, what is the value of x that make, makes this bracket zero? شو the value of x اللي حتخلي هذا bracket zero? It is x equals to minus seven. So the x will run to the minus seven to be zero to cross the x-axis, and that's why this function, parent function, will move seven units left. So if it is plus, it will move left. And when it is minus, it will move right. So this will move nine units right because it is grouped within the group and it is minus. So we will summarize here everything here. This is minus and this is plus. So if it is added or subtracted, the X mean is added or subtracted. We have two cases. Grouped or non-grouped. If it is grouped, then it will just move horizontally. So the movement is horizontal movement. While if it is not grouped, it will move vertical movement. So this is regarding the translation. And let's move to the dilation. Dilation means the thickness of the function will be affected. For example, for this type of function, it can be wider, it becomes wider, or it becomes thinner. And this happened not because of addition. It is a result of multiplying x or multiplying the function by a number. So if you multiply the number, it has also two cases, either grouped or non-grouped. The number is not in the same group with the x. These rules will apply to any function. It's not only applying on the linear function. هاي القوانين أو هذه الطريقة تطبق على جميع أنواع الدوال ليس فقط الدوال الخطية. Now, as you see here, we have here the six is multiplied by x and it is outside the group. So it is in this category. It's here outside the group. And it is multiplied. Now, this is in the form f of x is equal to ax, where a is outside. In this case, we have two cases. We can have a, which is this number, more than one, or it can be positive, more than zero, but less than one. For example, here, this g of x is equal to 6x. So it falls here. For example, here, g of x is, is 6x. So 6 is more than 1 here. In this case, it will also affect vertically. And we will say it has been vertically stretched. Because we have 6 outside, not in the group, and it is more than 1. So in this case, we will say vertical stretch. In the second question, we have also the number outside the group, but it is less than one. It is positive and less than one. So it is falling in this category. Half X outside. If this is the case, then we will say it is vertically also, but compressing. Madhut, compressing or shrinking or shrunk. So here we will say vertically compressed by the factor two or half because one over two is less than one. Here we have here 3.5x and no group is mentioned. No group is mentioned. That means we will consider that it is outside the group. Group. So we will compare 3.5 more than 1 and it is out outside the group, not in the group. So it is vertically stretched. So anything outside, we will uh, consider that it's affecting in the vertical point of view. OK, now we will see here the other category, which is in the group. If it is in the group, the number is grouped with the X. The three is with the X. So it will fall with the grouped category. 
If it is grouped, also we will have two cases, either stretching or compressing, but it is affecting in a horizontal point of view. من ناحية أفقية حيأثر على ناحية الأفقية فقط. يعني بالطريقة بالطريقة هذه. Yes, يشد ها يمين ويسار. Stretching or compressing also, but in a horizontal point of view. We will use the opposite. Everything we have done in the vertical, relax. أي شيء opposite to it. So let's go back to what we have here. Here we have if a more than one, it was vertical stretch. So we will say horizontally compress. Example, f of x is 2x and all inside the group. If a is more than zero but less than one, we will say it is horizontally stretched because it is in the group. So here we will say example f of x is half x but inside the group. Remember if it was outside we were saying vertically compressed or vertically shrunk. If Bracket includes them. If there is a class or group or مجموعه ضم الرقم والx, then it will be horizontally stretched. So you can remember them in this way. This is a graphic organizer for that. So let's go back here to this exercise. There is a group here, so it's grouped, and then directly we'll say horizontally. Because it's in the group and this three is more than one. So it's horizontally compressed or we can say shrunk from the word shrinking. Here, horizontal, since it's inside the group, the group, it's horizontal, horizontally. 0.5 is less than one, it's a positive, less than one. So it is horizontally stretched. Remember, if it was something like this without a group, we were saying vertically compress. So that you remember the difference between them. Now, 2 over 5 is less than 1 at it in group. So that means it is horizontally affecting, horizontally stretched. This is the summary of the dilation. I hope it is a nice lesson so we can summarize it with using many techniques like that. In the next lesson, we move to part two and we will study another type of transformation, which is reflection. For just a tiny, inshallah, we will discuss the topic of the Thank you very much and see you.